Hey, this is Warren Redlick. I want to talk about exponential growth for Tesla and whether Tesla can get to 20 million vehicles in 2030. As you can see on my spreadsheet right here, I get to 16 million and we get that to 20 million. How do we get there? This is motivated by this concept of exponential growth, but the exponential growth isn't just like a smooth, like Tesla growing exponentially. It goes in fits and starts. Before I go into it, I just want to say, please support me on the Locals platform, on Patreon, as a YouTube channel member, or as a Twitter subscriber, and check out the t-shirts at elonbits.com. Discriminate Koji Tande means critical thinking in Latin. Plenty of shirts there on elonbits.com. So what I want to dive into here is I've got this spreadsheet. I had this idea about exponential growth. And you can see right here, the exponential growth started with Model S growing from almost nothing in 2012 up to 100,000 units in 2017. And then something happened with Model S, it flattened out. And by the way, the yellow section and green section here, these are all estimates for the future. Everything from 2022 and before is actual numbers. So you can see that the Model S and X reached a, a peak and actually declined afterwards. So it hit 101,000. Last year, only 66,000 Model S's and X's, and that's after the refresh. So is there hope for Model S and X to get back to the 100,000? Maybe, but it doesn't look like Model S and Model X are going to continue growing the way that it grew in the early years. Now we go to Model 3 and Y. Model 3 and Y have been growing pretty rapidly. Again, we started with a small number in the first year, 2017, jumped really fast from 1,800 units in 2017 to 100, almost 150,000 in 2018, doubled again in 2019, 50% growth roughly in 2020, more than doubled in 2021. That's what the addition of Model Y and the growth of Model Y added to the 3, plat the three and Y platform. At 50%, maybe 30, 40% growth from 2021 to 2022. And what's going to happen in 2023? So you can see that exponential path that Model S and Model X followed. And then you can see this, a similar exponential path that Model 3 and Model Y followed. Model 3 and Model Y are still on that curve. I think Model 3 has already flattened out. Model Y continues to grow. So Model 3 had its exponential burst back in 2017 to 2020. And then Model Y's had an exponential burst from 2020 to 2023 and, and perhaps continuing to grow. I think there's a question, when do Model 3 and Model Y flatten out? I've got, in this current version that I've done, I've got it flattening out at 2 million. I think my 1.7 million for Model 3 and Y might be a little short. I think it might be more than that. I've got Cybertruck starting in 2023 and I've got semi you know, very small number of deliveries in 2022. It might've been 30 deliveries. I just put five down for the heck of it for putting a number down. And we're probably gonna see maybe 500 deliveries in 2023. The factory for full ramp of semi is probably not gonna be complete until sometime in late 2023. And then we see cyber uh, semi really start to ramp later. But so you can see what, what I'm expecting is in the future, we've got uh, Cybertruck's ramp. Cybertruck will ramp from 1500 units I don't know what the peak is for Cybertruck. I don't know how high it can go. I know that Ford F-150 did a million units a year um, at its peak, maybe a little more than a million units a year. So could Cybertruck get to a million units a year? I'm limiting it to 750,000. Maybe I'm being unfair. And we're gonna, we're gonna tweak these numbers in a minute because we gotta get to 20 million. So I'm just showing you where I see things going right now. And I'm not sure how we get to 20 million. So you can see Cybertruck adds 750. At the, at the way I peaked Cybertruck, I peaked Cybertruck at 750,000 units. Could it get to a million? I didn't include like a smaller version of Cybertruck for other markets. Maybe that's a trick that would get us there, but I'm, I'm, I'm leaving it there for now. Next, we've got um, the next generation platform. And we've, I'm sorry, we've done Semi. I think Semi, I think Semi tops out around 500,000 units. I don't, and it doesn't really matter, by the way, you know, whether semi is 500,000, 600,000, 400,000, even a million, doesn't make a big dent in the 16 million number we're trying to get to. So, I, I you know, but this, you get the exponential growth. Cy semi goes from five, you know, five to 500 to 5,000. That's, you know, 10X, a, a 3X to 150,000, 300,000. I do think there's potential for semi to sell more. If semi goes to, China and Europe and India and some other countries, other places, 
maybe there's potential for semi to get bigger and get to a million units, but I don't think it's much more than a million units. And I think 500 is a good number to start with for now. So we have the next generation platform vehicle and I'm putting it at uh, 5,000 units in its first year, which is optimistic compared to the other vehicles that Tesla has started with. Pretty much no other platform has gotten to 5,000 units in its first year, but it is a smaller vehicle, smaller battery pack, simpler to manufacture. So, and I suppose there's a chance that they deliver a very small number of units in 2023, but that seems super unlikely. In fact, even delivering units in 2024 might be a little unlikely because they haven't started building the factories yet, right? There's talk of building a factory in Mexico. Now, Tom Zhu said he thought they could get it built faster and get it producing faster than Shanghai, which was 11 months. So if they start building Giga Mexico in June, then it should be delivering by next year and, and delivering some number of vehicles. So 5,000 actually may be pessimistic, depending on your perspective. When do they start building Giga Mexico? How long does it take from breaking ground to actually delivering vehicles? And how, many, how quick is the ramp go? These are all issues. And you know it's a new process, right? They're gonna use the unbox process. It's a different approach to making vehicles. It took a while for Berlin and Texas to start ramping on Model Y on this new approach to building vehicles. So another approach to building vehicles might take a while to ramp. Um, I don't think I covered the Cybertruck ramp. Let me do that first. The Cybertruck ramp, I'm figuring maybe 1,500 vehicles this year. I think 10,000 is possible, 20,000 is possible, but I just put 1,500 for now. The big issue is next year, we should see 150,000 Cybertrucks, 2024 ramping to maybe 300,000, which will be a doubling in 2025, 500,000. You know, is it possible it will ramp faster? Yes, but you know, does it cap out at more than 750,000? I don't know. So then turning to this um, 5,000 units in 2024 for a next generation vehicle, I think we could see the next generation vehicle platform go to 250,000 in 2025 and ramp to 8 million units. This is pretty bold to say it's going to ramp to 8 million units, right? Because the the vehicle that sold the most number of units in a year is maybe one or 1.5 million vehicles, but I one or one or 1.5 million units. But I think the next generation platform is going to be more than one vehicle, so that modifies it a little bit. There's probably going to be a small commuter sedan. There's probably going to be a small SUV. Maybe there'll be a small van on the platform. Maybe something else. Different countries might have different variants. So I don't. It, but the issue is when you look at this vehicle and you say this vehicle is going to cost maybe half the cost of a Model Y. And if we're expecting Model Y to top out, or Model Y and 3 to top out at 2 million vehicles, then having the cost should 4x the number of vehicles you can deliver. It might do significantly more. And this is probably the one we're going to have to tweak to get to 20 million, right? But this is sort of an open question. How do we get to 20 million? What is the, the upside of the next generation platform? I'm not sure what the answer is to that question. All right, so let's turn to the van. I I threw a van in here because I think it's likely that Tesla will make a van at some point. And here I'm referring to a full-size van on the order of the size of Cybertruck. Now, maybe it's on a Model X platform, maybe it's on the Cybertruck platform, I don't know. But I think it's likely that Tesla at some point is gonna make a van. There's been, there's like the slightest hint of it in the Investor Day presentation, but so far there's really been no, no significant sign of a van coming other than Elon saying eventually we'll do whatever you know units are out there. So. I've got that vehicle starting at 2,000 units in 2025. That's totally made up. I mean, the whole thing is totally made up. Um, and then ramping to 200,000, then 600,000. I've got that ramping to 5 million units by 2030. I think this kind of commercial van, I think there's a big market for that. Now, maybe a van the size that cyber of Cybertruck would be too big, and maybe other markets would need it to be smaller and narrower. But I think some sort of van or combination of vans maybe could potentially do 5 million units, especially if you get to the point where they're, they're operating as like minibuses and they're operating as cargo vans and they're operating as work vans. There's so many different ways that a vehicle like that could serve. That, but it's a fudge factor to come up with 5 million for that. So when you add all these up, you see where we get to less than 4 million vehicles in 2026, which I feel like I'm being pessimistic here. And I'm not sure where I'm being pessimistic. Does Model Y ramp to larger volumes than I'm giving it? Does the next generation platform ramp faster and to higher volumes than I'm giving it? I don't know. I'm trying to see the path to 20 million and I'm not seeing it super clear. I, and I don't know what you're seeing. Another thought that I have is that and another column would be a vehicle beyond the next generation platform vehicle that's even smaller. 
a lot of countries have very small vehicles that like I expect the next generation platform, the sedan version to be roughly the size of a Toyota Corolla, but other countries have vehicles that are smaller than that. So is there another vehicle in the future that starts in maybe 2026 that is smaller than a Corolla? You know, a mini sized vehicle that seats, you know, four people designed for the market in India and you get the price point down to under $15,000, maybe even $12,000. Does that increases the total addressable market quite a bit. Again, this is this is sort of assuming there's no, we don't shift to a world of self-driving cars, right? If we shift to a world of self-driving cars, sort of everything changes, it's really hard to predict things. But I do think there's room for another column here of a super small vehicle, like the Tata Nano, like, you know, the Daihatsu Sharad, if they still make that, the Honda Fit, like something smaller than a Corolla that is popular in certain places. I think there might be a substantial market for that vehicle, and that may be something I'm leaving out. I think we could see Model 3 and Y platform reach 3 million units. I don't think we're going to see the S and X platform go, you know, will they reach 100,000 units a year? Could they reach 200,000? It doesn't matter when you're trying to get to 20 million. The, the impact of S and X is pretty small. So I don't know how we get up above the 16 million. I think we can see maybe increasing Model 3 and Y platform as they're able to improve efficiencies in the platform and get that up to 3 million vehicles. Maybe that gets us to 17 million. So let's let's throw 3 million here. We'll throw 3 million there and that gets us to 17 million. We could take Cybertruck to a million units. Right, we could take Cybertruck to a million units and that gets us uh, 17 and a half million. I don't, I think it's a stretch to say we can get the next generation vehicle platform to 8 million, beyond 8 million, maybe. I think the van is kind of like I'm being over optimistic on the van. Maybe we can take the semi to uh, 750. And we're up close to 18 million units. I, I think you have to bring in a smaller vehicle. If you, if you t went from here and you said, all right, the next generation platform is going to get us to 10 million, that does it right? That gets us to basically 20 million units. I'm not sure that any of this, like, this is how you get there, right? You get, then we'll throw in, we'll throw in a hundred thousand on uh, S and X, right? The economy gets better. Rich people buy more cars. You get a hundred thousand. You're getting pretty close to 20 million at this point. I, I think 3 million for model three and Y platform might be a stretch. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying it might be a stretch. You know, we're looking at, it, it could happen. But the, the things that Tesla is going to have to do to get there are, are tough. Now, again, you know, maybe when we go to FSD turns to robo taxi, maybe that when it gets, you know, to level five, the increase in demand, because now it's it's not just a car right now. It's basically a transportation device. It's a robo taxi, whatever. Maybe that increases the volumes of everything. I'm not sure. Um, but, you know, a million for Cybertruck, that's reasonable. The 10 million for next generation platforms, a push. The van, I just, I mean, I made up the van. Can you get to 5 million units of vans? Maybe. I, I'm not sure about that. Semi at 750, maybe you get the semi to a million, you'd actually be over 20, 20. Let's say, let's put the semi at a million, right? And now we're, we're at over 20 million units. So this, but I just wanted to go with this concept of this is the path that I see. And you have to ask yourself what other platforms are coming in and not a platform that's going to add 100,000 units or 250,000 units, but a platform that's going to add a million units a year, right? That's what you need. You need a platform that's going to add significantly more. I think maybe if we added a column for a much smaller vehicle, which would start in 2026 and would ramp quickly, maybe that would get, maybe we would bring you know, next generation platform down to 2 million and that, that platform by 2030 would reach, you know, 4 million units or something. Maybe that's the solution. It's really tough for me to see the path to 20 million. When I look at it this way, I think it's possible. It's just, you have to stretch a lot of things. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Please support me on the Locals platform on Patreon or as a YouTube channel member. Please check out the t-shirts at elonbits.com. You can support me as a Twitter subscriber as well. Please check out my other videos, like this video, share it, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.